Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the strongest kaiju within the Godzilla universe. Number 10. Rodan Godzilla wasn't the only giant kaiju to help establish the House of Toho back in the day. Rodan debuted all the way back in 1956 with its own film, before entering the Godzilla universe with 1964's Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. Rodan's main attack strength lies within the supersonic winds that it's able to conjure up with its wings. Elsewhere, its evolved Fire Rodan Vision lends this irradiated Pteranodon one serious power upgrade. Rodan is agile too, and able to dart and fly around his opponents in order to keep them guessing. This kaiju mainstay may not like to play with others that often, but we can't say we're surprised. Rodan is a true winged assassin. Number 9. Hedora 1971's Godzilla vs. Hedora tends to be a divisive film among Godzilla fans, thanks to its uneven tone and psychedelic visuals. Yet its titular antagonist, Hedora, just may be a slept-on kaiju when it comes to its sickening power. The smog monster's poisonous properties rack up a disturbing amount of human victims throughout the film, while Hedera's toxic physical makeup makes him a challenging adversary. Godzilla finds it difficult to come up with a game plan, since Hedera spouts off corrosive, acidic, and toxic chunks that seem to debilitate the king of the monsters at every turn. Number 8. Mothra We all know that Mothra is the OG Queen Moth, dominating her Godzilla film appearances with wind attacks, powerful lightning, and silk threads that can easily incapacitate an opponent. Her side appearances in the Rebirth of Mothra films lend her even more impressive powers, to the point where she can dominate a three-headed space dragon without breaking a sweat. That said, Mothra's other strengths actually lie within her peace-loving nature, since it's her restraint that we find so charming and lovable. This is a kaiju that's truly heroic, only causing chaos if provoked or threatened. And that, we think, is a welcome breath of fresh air. <laughs> Number 7. Gigan. Call the case of this next kaiju one of both style and substance. There's just no way around it. Gigan looks cool. He may not always be the smartest alien cyborg on the block, since Gigan seems to be a near constant victim of alien mind control. This aside, Gigan arrived armed with some serious heavy artillery. Alternating hooks and chainsaws on his hands, a deadly buzzsaw on his stomach, and a vicious mean streak. He even makes Godzilla bleed on screen. Gigan's visor makes it difficult to guess what's going on upstairs. Maybe he's thinking about his pal Megalon, but all we know is that we always want to show up for a Gigan party. Number 6. Biolante The world of Godzilla fandom has largely come around to how sympathetic and even tragic Biolante is as a Godzilla antagonist. <laughs> Shh, 
She's created in the aftermath of a bombing that takes the life of one Erika Shiragami when her father, Dr. Genshiro Shiragami, splices her DNA with Godzilla cells and a rose. Biolante's rose form and her evolved crocodilian iteration takes Godzilla to the absolute limit in combat. <laughs> She's able to quickly heal her wounds, while her acidic spit and poisonous corrosive properties are similar to that of the smog monster Hedera. We can't help but feel sorry for Biolante, however, particularly after she succumbs to Godzilla's attacks in their final battle. Number 5. Space Godzilla it isn't often that we see kaiju antagonists with psychic abilities within the Godzilla universe. This is just one of the reasons why Space Godzilla is so dangerous. Let's forget for a moment the creature's rather uninspired moniker and instead focus on Space G's abilities of telekinesis, telepathy, and even levitation. Space Godzilla's energy shield can reflect back the OG Godzilla's atomic breath attack as well, giving this kaiju tons of defense properties against his opponents. There's also an aura of malevolence and spite involved with nearly everything Space Godzilla does, lending him the reputation of a planner and a tactician, as opposed to a mindless kaiju beast. Space Godzilla has won. All hope is lost. Number 4. King Ghidorah a Ghidorah by any other name would still be a king. This thousands years old dragon has reared his three heads in many Godzilla films over the years, including mecha versions and the Monster X upgrade Kaiser Ghidorah from Godzilla Final Wars. He's even taken on rare protagonist roles in films like 2001's Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. King Ghidorah primarily loves to be bad, however, and utilizing his lightning strikes and energy shields for god-level attacks and defense capabilities. Said simply, it's always a fight when King Ghidorah shows up. Number 3. Destroyer we're very used to seeing Godzilla take on a myriad of Monster of the Week style enemy fights. Most of these battles don't possess particularly high stakes, and we never feel a semblance that there's anything personal between the opponents. Destroyer is something of an outlier, however, a demonic kaiju that seems to be committing carnage with relish and zeal. Godzilla actually perished at the finale of 1995's Godzilla vs. Destroyer, an event that made international headlines at the time. The fact that Destroyer was brought into creation via the Oxygen Destroyer, the 86, the OG Godzilla, isn't lost on fans either, with this fact always coming into play with regard to its dangerous reputation. Number 2. Mecha Godzilla. It's a walking arsenal, a disaster waiting to happen with one fearsome moniker, Mecha Godzilla. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes it arrives from space. More often, it's made by human hands and arrives armed with missiles that can fire from practically anywhere on its body. Mechagodzilla can fire energy beams from its eyes at 360 degrees thanks to its swiveling head. This, combined with the cross-attack beam from its chest, means that Mechagodzilla can basically fire in every direction all at once. It's honestly an impressive sight when Mecha-G goes all out in a fight. All energy fireworks and pulse blasts that can lay low basically anything in its path. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Godzilla It's perhaps the easiest layup possible, as well as a foregone conclusion to our list. What other kaiju could take the number one spot other than the king of the monsters? Godzilla's power levels and abilities have fluctuated over the years, with some iterations, such as Final Wars Godzilla, possessing little trouble taking down enemies. Still, other versions of Godzilla have been forced to team up with other kaiju in order to take down a larger threat. At the end of the day, however, the staying power of Godzilla is undeniable. Take your pick, movie appearances, comic book dominance, animated adaptations, Godzilla has done them all and remained unconquerable for decades with no sign of stopping. How old were you when you watched your first Godzilla film? Let us know in those comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.